Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Color Correction and Final Cut Pro. This is part 6 of my series. In my last video, I adjusted the exposure of my clip, so my next step is to adjust the color balance. This will be the topic of this video. If you haven't seen parts 1 through 5 of this series, I strongly recommend going back and watching them. I'll include the links in the description and in the top right corner. Let's take a look at the clip I used in my previous video. I'll select color in the color board, and in the video scopes, I'll choose RGB Parade Waveform. This is similar to the Luma Waveform, but splits my signal up into three channels, red, blue, and green. Anything that's color neutral in the video, meaning anything white or any shade of gray, should have equal amounts of red, green, and blue colors in it. The shirt in the bottom right corner should be gray, but you can see it has a yellow tint to it. You can also see this in the waveforms, where in the shadows there's clearly more red and green, which combine make yellow, than there is blue. The midtones and highlights appear right, so we'll just need to adjust the shadows. To correct this, we can either add blue, or take away yellow from the shadows. I'll click on my shadows pack, and drag it over to the blue area on the color board. Nothing has changed, because I neither added, nor subtracted any color yet. I'll click and drag the shadows pack up and watch my waveforms, to add blue. Pay close attention to the bottom right corner of the waveform, since this represents a color neutral gray. The objective here is to have equal amounts of red, blue, and green in the waveforms. Right about there. I'll press Command Z to undo this correction, and Shift Command Z to redo it to toggle this effect off and on. Let's take a look at another clip and try this. Most of this clip has snow in it, so it should be white, but because wrong white balance was selected, the snow appears blue. You can see it in the image and in the waveforms. So to correct this, we can either take away blue from the clip, or add blue's complementary color, yellow. I'll click on the global puck, drag it over to yellow, and drag it up. Not really the look I'm going for. To undo any correction, simply click on the puck, and press the delete key. I want the sky, which is mid-tones in this clip, to stay the way it is, so I'll only adjust the shadows and highlights. This seems a bit better. I'll also adjust the exposure to bring my highlights down a bit and give it some deeper shadows. To toggle this effect on and off, you can go back to the inspector and toggle the color correction checkbox to see the before and after images. So with the exposure and color balance adjusted, the last step is to adjust color saturation. We'll take a look at that in my next video. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Likes, Comments and shares are always appreciated, along with any kind of feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.